your time today. I know you had a very busy and exciting week, and I really appreciate you taking the time to speak with me. Oh, of course. Thank you for speaking with me. Of course. So I have had the privilege of seeing all of the season and I am just, oh my gosh, in love with it. So to start off, I really want to talk about that big moment for Steven in like the first few episodes, we get that valedictorian speech. You did such a great job with that. Can you talk to me about filming that and just how that felt, have that moment for your character? Yeah. Well, first off, thank you. Um, And yeah, it was, it was really cool. I'm an idiot in real life. So like, I would, yeah, valedictorian is way, yeah, never happened. Um, So the fact that I got the chance, my parents made so many jokes about it. (laughs) They made so many jokes about it, but uh, no, it was incredible. Uh, Giving that speech in front of, you know, like 100, 200 people or something. And especially having the, um, the support system in the, the, the crowd, having be able, being able to look out and I see uh, rain, next to Lola, next to Jackie, next to Colin. And I'm like, wow, this really does feel like my family coming to graduation, you know? Um, It was spectacular. It was a very emotional moment. Uh, And I love graduating twice. You could show people that picture and be like, I was valedictorian. I don't know about you, but. (laughs) I'm not going to lie to you. That's what my dad's plan is. There you go. Listen, I mean, that would have been so funny if you had your parents like as a cameo in the audience. Could you ah. imagine? That would have been good. That actually would have, they would have loved so that. So funny. No, I love that. That was such a beautiful answer. And going off of that, we also had like that sentence or those sentences from the letter that Susanna wrote. What was it like to deal with Susanna's death as a main storyline this season? I mean, what was most important to you about getting that storyline right and showing how everyone, including Steven, handled it in their own way? Yeah, well, I just thought it was very important to get it right. Um, Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pressure, I think, that comes with it. Uh, You know, a lot of book fans know it's coming. Also, being like an emotional support system, I think, for... um, you know, Chris Conrad and uh, both the actor and the character, you know, I think Stephen goes through a really interesting kind of uh, stage of like stages of grief. I think it differs a little bit than from what we see like Belly in the first episode. Um, and he says it in the third episode where he asks Taylor, you know, he his life is like kind of looking up. Um, he's going to Princeton and he's getting scholarship money and he's really happy. And, and, and he asks Taylor, he's like, am I an asshole? Like, I I know I should be sad, and I am, and I'm grieving this person who meant a lot to me. But at the same time, I'm still looking forward to what life has in store, Um, which is, I think, a complete contrast to what Belly is kind of going through in those first couple of episodes, you know? And it it was tough to figure that out, you know, that kind of like self-guilt in grieving. Um, But everybody was amazing on set. Uh, Jenny was amazing and the rest of the cast. I mean, such a, such a great support system, you know? And I want to get into the funner questions now. That fair sequence was so mm-hmm. much fun. Loved it. That was one of my favorites of this season. And I'm curious, do you have any fun behind the scenes stories with the cast filming that? I mean, yeah. with everything else, that was just, that was a real highlight. No, it was a highlight for us. Um, that was I, the little like tidbit. Um, so the laser tag scene, um, we I love it. Like you know what I mean. It was so much fun, and and we spent like all day shooting it. And you know there are specific like lines and specific shots we have to get for the plot. And and it's coming down to the end of the day, and we think we have it all right. And our director at the time, she comes up to us and she's like, "All right, guys, we're gonna do one more." And we're like, what do, what do we need one more? And she's like, we're going to pull all the cameras out. And we're going to leave them in the corners. Oh, that's and awesome. let you guys play. Uh, so I think some of it actually made the cut, which is hilarious. But uh, there's, there, yeah, there, we played a whole round of literally just us being kids again and having fun, uh, just playing laser tag, you know? That, that whole thing came out amazingly, but having that tidbit is <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It came out great. I can imagine the fun. In well, speaking of fun, we also had dance sequences for you this season, as if 
Last season wasn't iconic enough. We have the party in the USA <laughs> dance <laughs> sequence. And also, we had that slow dance sequence between you and Taylor. I thought it was really interesting that you two got to do both, like kind of so close together. What was it like to do both of those? How was the experience different? And how do you think it like built into creating the dynamic and that big kiss moment that we'll talk about in a minute? <laughs> I appreciate the question. I really do. Of course. Um, both were the most amounts of fun. Like yeah. um, the first one, the ballroom one, I didn't really have to practice at all. You know, I think the whole point is that it's kind of this uh, dance he knows from last year. And then it's a dance that Taylor doesn't know, you know. And so it's a fine, it's a fun, like finding footing moment, but finding footing together. Um, and yeah, the party in the USA was just so much fun. Oh, my God. Yeah. We... Rain and I probably could have done that a hundred more times just because we were, we were just enjoying each other and we were enjoying the moment and just, oh my God. You know, when people clear a dance floor for you and yeah. just- like, Oh, come on. Well, who, yeah. I, I think that um, it's really interesting because those are like two of the most important scenes to me in the Steven and Taylor relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And I think- it's really important because well the first one the ballroom scene um it's where the 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 dead ball took place you know in the first season and and yes. i think that's kind of like a huge moment for steven where he takes a look around at what once was you know what he did once have in this moment and also literally like kind of the exact space that uh his world yeah. came crashing down and everybody's world came crashing down so to be able to go back to that same place um a year later now with somebody who has been by his side uh for his whole life and not just in the fantasy of the first season you know in the fantasy world of cousins when the fantasy came crashing down he's able to go back with um someone who's been by his side and and the party in the usa is the same thing where it's like yeah they've been doing this dance since they were kids you know They've been doing it since they were kids and for him to do it at a party with her and 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 look to his left and there she is doing it and and they're having fun together it's a big realization for him like oh i can't hold this in anymore whatever we have going on i can't that was such an insightful answer i love it. i'm gonna rewatch scenes after this and have like all the insight i'm, <laughs> I'm ready i love it and we have to talk about the kiss. Oh my gosh. First of all, it was such a great moment for the characters, but also can we appreciate the fact that you got Taylor Swift playing in the background yeah. with snow on the beach? Fans are going to go nuts. Okay. What was that like to just see that moment after kind of building up to it for the entire season to get that satisfaction moment? Uh, it was awesome. Um, and rain is incredible. So shooting anything with her, especially that, you know, we both felt or I felt extremely like safe and comfortable doing it. And, and uh, yeah, it felt like this like big culmination. And yes. I, I, I've never really shot something like that where we sit down and she's sitting down into that scene and I'm standing and they yell action and I'm just looking at her. And I had the thought as an actor where I'm like, wow, this is like months. This has been months coming. Like this is- yeah. like, I am doing the scene that I have been prepping for, for forever now, and it couldn't have gone any smoother. You know, she's just so easy to act alongside. She's the best. Um, and yeah, it was a very special moment. And uh, some T Swift ain't too bad. You know what I'm saying? You can't get more iconic than Taylor Swift. I'm sorry, there are great artists involved, but I'm a Taylor Swift girl. So that I'm was. Saying, I'm just saying, Connie Belly, watch your back. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hey. <laughs> listen, listen, that was a great song, too. And lastly, before I let you go, I got to ask you one last quick question. We get to see or find out who your character is shipping Belly with this season. I won't say who in case that's a spoiler, but we, we find out. <laughs> who are you shipping belly with do you oh, have a side you're leaning towards because i kind of I switch it up i know i'm gonna get hate for saying that but like there's some good moments for both of them let me tell you something i i, I uh i think we've talked a lot about this i think as a cast we've kind of agreed like that's how this show should be watched yeah every single episode every single scene almost with when belly's with one of them 
I like we want people to flip flop. We want people we to do. Yeah. constantly changing. And it's like uh, we love the diehard fans, you know, but we also yep. like the, the 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 battle of it. And I think yeah. um, I think you're not going to like my answer. I don't think many people do. But what is it? I'm, I'm team belly. As you should come on as you should. that's a given every love triangle you gotta just go for the girl like team valley te always come on I'm saying. and i'm a i'm a big brother it, both in the show and in real life exactly you want, want no one near her that's what i'm saying man i want what's best for my little sis like no matter who or what i just want her to be happy and i am team belly through and through you know as you should perfect note to end on sean it is always a pleasure speaking with you thank you so much for your time and congrats on this show you deserve all the love and the praise for it it's awesome thank you so much thank of course you. i hope to talk again for season three let's let's manifest the season three. knock on some wood you know i hope i hope Boys, professional artists and professors maybe a nerd who's just like you talking about the things that you like too so i invite you to the noc in full color you see me the hard knock